ancient Greece, filled with deep thinkers, theorists and philosophers alike. One such man, who went by the name of Aristotle, was an avid thinker and was highly regarded by his colleagues and peers. Aristotle came up with, among many, one theory which we know and love today, logic. In most everyday situations, we use deductive logic to reach a predictable outcome based on facts we already know. The most common use of deductive logic was through Arthur Conan Doyle's famous tales of Sherlock Holmes. The popular detective was able to use deductive logic to figure out facts about a certain person. Hello gents, would you like to be like me? Well now you can. Follow my three magic rules and you'll be a private investigator in no time at all. Step one, observation. Take a look at the facts you're presented with. Take in everything around you. What do you see? Step two, analysis. Sort through the jigsaw pieces of information to come to an assessment. Step three, search. Search for the right clue to give an overall summary of the situation and then give your verdict. Let's see how a professional would do it. So, Mr. Wilson, apart from the obvious facts, I can deduce that at some point in your life you have done some manual labour, you like your snuff, and you are also an avid writer. How in the name of good fortune do you know all that, Mr. Holmes? For example, how did you know that I did manual labour? Your hands, my dear sir. Your right hand is considerably larger than your left, suggesting that you have worked with it and the muscles are more developed. My god, man, that's sheer genius. But how about the stuff? I won't insult your intelligence by telling you that. <laughs> Mr. Holmes, you truly are a master of deductive work. But how about the handwriting? Your right cuff is shiny for five inches. And the patch on your left elbow is smooth from where you lean on your desk. See, gents, you can be just like me by using the rules of deductive logic. Good day.